here we are. We are at our uh, furthest away pop, um, and we are going to be working on this guy today. Uh, we're going to be standing up a, a new fiber, uh, a new pond, and hopefully hook up, um, well, hell, a uh, church. So, uh, what um, here in Denton, um, how I have been doing this is using these uh, splitter shelves. Uh, it's an easy solution when there is a single fiber. It's going up into a cul-de-sac. Um, you know, maybe it's only capable of so many houses. There's only so many houses that exist, you know. So um, by doing it this way, uh, I can stand up each one of these as a pond. And then each one of these goes out to splitters uh, out in little cul-de-sacs or little areas where they're just, they can't build another house. So there's no, you know, there's no point in putting, wasting. Um, so standing up in a new pond is super duper uh, complicated. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This is a Ubiquiti B plus um, optic. It's just a G pond optic. And uh, right over here is our OLT. And Oh, see, I told you it was really complicated. I put it in upside down. And done. <laughs> so I literally am just going to take a patch cable from right here to that optic. Patch cable from number one, and that's going to go to uh, number... I, when I did this, I was in a hurry, and I accidentally put the blue tube and orange tube backwards. Um, so... 15 is uh, actually fiber three, and it's not that it's not that big of a deal, really. Um, another exciting uh, upgrade here is uh, we got our Arista um, switch in today. Uh, just put it in, um, and I'm going to uh, test it. You can hear the fans coming up. It's I think right now it's uh, running its last um, part of the boot up cycle. And uh, we're going to plug uh, number one in to our uh, core switch that's just right down a little bit. And then that is hopefully going to bring OSPF up here. Um, I figured I'd do this first just because it's still a little, little chilly outside. So um, I think now it's completely booted. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a DAT cable in it and pull up a console. And we'll see what goes down with that. And then after that, we'll get out into the field. I got the fiber splicer charging and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get working on that guy so um, now it shows that the pond is not up and that is uh, only because there is no uh, device the customer device on it yet um, Arista does in fact work I didn't think about the management network um, so I have to kind of go back to the drawing board a little bit there um, I'm just trying to get rid of our old equipment right here that's like the old management network um, and then as you see here that goes to the OLT that goes to my patch panel it goes to the outside plant and then there I am as uh, number three it, even though it does say 15 it, it's just number three so let's go ahead and we'll go out and we'll do a quick test just to make sure that we're on the right uh, make sure to take that back um, to make sure we're on the right fiber and then we got good power. So I think I should be at negative two at the first splice point. We'll go ahead and we'll get out there. I was just leaving the pop and I honestly, I can't even believe it. Um, yeah, I think we got the Sinaloa cartel uh, up in here. That's hilarious, dude. Uh, so um, my first customer is... Well, roughly where that, that sign there is, right there. Um, and then it goes down like a long alley, um, I think. But uh, we're set up here to do our splice. This is the end of our um, uh, original network. Uh, it stopped here. Um, and they ran a 48 count. I forget what type of cable this is, but I think this is that fast non-armored. 
dry light. Oh, cool. Okay. I remember this kit. This is a good, this is a sweet cable to work with. Um, and uh, we're going to just be uh, popping this collar off, um, landing it onto the gel seal, and then uh, we're going to be adding a, uh, a brand new tray. Um, as this is not customers, this is actually extension. So I'm going to put the, uh, make it so basically the blue and the orange can just splice on this tray. I'm just doing the, uh, I'm just doing two on the blue right now. Well, all right. Well, I skipped a couple of steps to have just some random nonsense. It's just mon Monday. It's, uh, sometimes I think like people just want to complain about stupid things sometimes, but, uh, heard my, my kids complain all weekend and then now I get to hear adults complain. So it's just, it's just part of my life now, I guess. Uh, we've got our, uh, little conduit tube, uh, inner tray to, I don't know what the hell you call it. Um, this guy, because my first tray is G pawn and this is not going to be, uh, this is just gonna, I mean, there's, it's like customer access. And then this is just going to be a straight butt, um, butt splice. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the orange on. So that way I don't have to worry about it later. And, uh, let's get cranking. We are, um, I, I was such a dummy. Well, earlier I was in, um, we were in the, uh, little data center thing there. And, uh, this is North second street. It just so happens that, uh, about 500 feet away, I've got a South second street. So I have two 48 count cables that go to the street, but separated by a block. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking there. I didn't have no power and I just went back and I'm plugged and plugged in. Um, but if you look over here, there's the river. Did not realize that. And that's way back down that out, right about there is the house we're hooking up. Cool. Um, so we got our mid-span prepped, uh, and put together. We do have our collar on. Uh, we are in the green fiber here. Um, remember we spliced the green and the brown uh, back there. And, uh, this is the fourth, um, the fourth time I've purchased, uh, these splitters. And I finally got the correct type. Um, I'm saved so I can just no connector. Um, and it is loose tube. I mean, uh, it is not ribbon, uh, as you can see right there. Uh, so really happy about that. Um, and it is just bare fiber. Uh, there's no, on the input, there is no, uh, jacket at all. I can, there we go. Yep. See that? This is the best, uh, cause I can put these in here. And it's not taking up all that extra space from the uh, loose tube style. Um, so down at the previous box, we did our splice. Um, we were at a negative uh, 2.6, I think. I have to check that back. Um, and uh, that should put us right here at the customer um, at about a negative 17. I'm just gonna just stay for easy math. Negative 17. Uh, it's a pretty good hike up their driveway, uh, to be honest with you. And then I don't know inside their house too. So they might be like, let's call them like negative 17.25. And, uh, that's where they will be. Um, and then coming out of my port, my blue, um, I will be at, uh, roughly a negative, um, negative 0.6. We'll call it, I mean, uh, zero negative 0 0.6 so now my next customer box uh that should put me at a uh right around a negative 19 i think right around, yeah like a, about a negative 19 um so i'll do i'm doing a 75 75 and then if kurt continues building on that that direction we're going to put a negative uh, 50 on the next one and then a net we could probably do negative 50 negative 50 and then maybe a uh just a regular four-way uh, splitter down there. God, that, that truck was screaming. And uh, I did not bring, unfortunately, the flat drop adapter. Um, I, I knew I was going to forget something, and I did. Uh, 
not a big deal. I'm going to grab a box of them and bring up here. That way, uh, this is a, it's an hour drive up here, so you figure, um, you, you know, forgetting stuff sucks. So um, I am going to just put the splitter in. I'm not going to do any splicing uh, because I can't splice the flat drop, and I'll do that tomorrow morning.